Hello and welcome to this Pearson Primary Geography Unit Briefing. In this video I'll be taking you through our unit on energy and sustainability. The National Curriculum states that pupils should be taught about human geography, including types of settlement and land use, economic activity including trade links, and the distribution of natural resources including energy, food, minerals and water. The National Curriculum also states that pupils should make comparisons between the UK and cities in Europe and North and South America. In this unit, pupils will have the opportunity to do just this through carefully selected case studies. So, let's take a closer look at the work booklet that pupils will complete as they move through this unit. The booklet begins with a knowledge organiser. A list of geographical vocabulary is included here, as well as an overview of renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Each of the six lessons is framed around an inquiry question. It may be helpful to share this question at the beginning of the lesson to frame the learning, as well as ending the lesson by having pupils drop their key reflections in the learning review column here. Now, let's take a closer look at each of these lessons in turn. The first lesson asks, what is sustainability? Pupils will be pushed to consider the relationship between humans, the environment and the economy. Drawing on a UN report called Our Common Future, pupils will consider how people can continue to grow the economy without damaging the earth and its resources. An example of the company Tesla building wind farms will demonstrate how this might be possible. The second lesson asks, are fossil fuels sustainable? Pupils will zone in on the difference between renewable and non-renewable fuel sources, learning that fossil fuels take millions of years to form and are extremely damaging to the environment when burnt. The third lesson asks, what are renewable sources of energy? Pupils will learn that there are eight countries which produce less than 60% of their energy using renewable sources. A blank bar chart and table of data will allow them to plot this data and represent it graphically to make it easy to compare between countries. Pupils will then be introduced to solar farms, wind farms, hydroelectric plants and microhydro plants, considering the advantages and disadvantages of each. The fourth lesson asks, what can we learn from Curitiba? Using the Brazilian city as a case study, pupils will learn how Curitiba has become more sustainable since the 1970s. From pedestrianising the city centre to creating woodlands and moving to a sustainable transport system, pupils will learn how policies can help people to live sustainably. The fifth lesson asks, what can we learn from Freiburg? Turning the pupils' attention to a European case study, pupils will learn about the German city of Freiburg and how it's also made the decision to be a more sustainable city since the 1970s. Pupils will learn about the city's biogas di digester, which converts food and garden waste into energy. They'll also learn about the decision to make parking very expensive and public transport like trams very cheap to nudge people to make more sustainable choices. And the final lesson, lesson six, gives pupils the statement, humans cannot live sustainably. How much do you agree with this statement? Pupils will have the opportunity to draw on their knowledge from the whole unit to reach a judgment about the choices that people make and the chances of more sustainable policies and behaviour becoming more widespread. We hope that you enjoy teaching this Pearson unit on energy and sustainability and that your pupils enjoy learning all about it. The video ends here.